In this video, we will be seeing the configuring of change capture for trial files. We will see how are the trial files created, what is the purpose of trial files and what are the different examples. So as you see the overview of trial files, trial files are basically used by the golden gate so that it can store the data, whatever the data that is being captured by your extract process, the primary extract process is kept into a trial file which is nothing but a physical file that is stored at the OS level. So this trial file can be accessed by the data pump process and the replicate process. So your data pump process which is the secondary extract process is going to read this trial file and send that to the replicate site or the target site and at the target site your replicate process is going to read the same trial file and replicate the data into the system. So the purpose of this trial file is basically to have the data consistency. If the data is being directly transferred over the network and if there is any network issues and the data may not be properly propagated. So to overcome such issues you are using something known as trial files wherein the change capture, the redo capture data is stored in the trial file and it is safe and secure there. It is a physical file and the same file is transferred to the target site and the target site replicate will read the trial file and replicate the data. So as I said there is only one process that can write to the trial file which is nothing but the extract process and at the target site the trial file is read by the replicate process and what is your data pump process doing? It is an optional extract process which will pump the trial file from source to target and these trial files are created in whatever is the location that you have mentioned in the extract process and it is going to have a sequential numbering to it. These are the examples of a trial file as I said when you are adding an extract you are going to define an X trial when you are adding an extract you are going to define an X trial which is nothing but your trial file and then you are also going to mention the size of the trial file. By default size of each trial file is going to be 10 MB that is 10 megabytes you can define it as you wish. For example when you are adding an extract that is say you are adding an extract known as finance and what is the local trial file or the extract trial file for that extract group it is nothing but your this one. So add extract the trial file for the group known as finance and the size of the trial file is 10 MB and this is nothing but the remote trial. So the same trial file is transferred to your remote site and that is registered as the remote trial using this command add remote trial the same trial file which your extract is creating at the primary is being transferred to your target site and registered as remote trial and what is the pump process that is transferring it is nothing but the parts or the pump process. So this is the example in which you will configure a trial file now let us see the practicals of the same. Let us now see how to configure the extract process and the trial files associated with it. We are now in the source database. Let us go to the golden gate home. Login into golden gate software command interface and login into the database using the user id. Once you have logged in let us now configure the extract parameter file. So let us name our extract parameter file as e1 underscore SRCE. So as you see it is going to create a new parameter file in the dirprm directory with the name e1 underscore SRCE dot prm. So the parameters that we are defining is these. So this is our extract parameter or the extract process name. This is the character set of the database. This is the oracle home. This is the name of the database. This is the username password. This is the discard file. The discard file is in the location u01ggtrials src which is the name of the database. If this directory does not exist make sure you create this directory. The trial files will be of the format et followed by few numbers. So as the trial files get created it will be prefixed with et000001 like that. So this is the location for your extract trial files. You are obviously going to exclude the golden gate user and you are going to extract the tables for 
all the tables in the Scott schema and we are going to include the DDL that is data definition languages as well. So this is how your parameter file looks like. Save the parameter file. You can go and verify if the parameter file exists. So this is your parameter file. After creating the parameter file, you need to add the extract. That means you need to register the extract to the golden gate. Go to golden gate software command interface again. Log into the user. Check the manager is running. Yes. You can add the extract using this command. Add extract, the name of the extract, tran log begin now. That is from this moment, it will start extracting the data from the source database. So it says extract added. You can register the trial files also. The trial files are registered using add extrial, the location where the trial file should be extracted, the naming convention and the extract name. So once you have added the extract, you see the extract is here. The currently extract is stopped and when we start the extract, it will start extracting the data from the time we have registered the extract to the Oracle Golden Gate.